for Angola. Only their third appearance, and they will be desperate to improve on their previous finishes. What can they do in France? Oh, that's what they can do. The first goal for Angola, scored by Antonio. Slovenia comes straight back. Tough group. Lead in the opening three minutes, and that's a two-goal lead. Slovenia who will break down the other end and take advantage and has the tide turned in these early stages. Jans. Not so from Angola, but they're in again and again denied. Skok. Good work from him. And this is a very good period for the Europeans. Oh, that was a push in the chest. Free allowing play to continue, and that's a good finish from Hero. Ferreira tries to squeeze it. Oh, Scott. Oh, and there's a mistake at the other end, and it's punished. Ulanessa <laughs> and Lopez. And there is, again, Tichnik getting involved. Here, is, here he is. Oh, yes. We were never going to keep him quiet for long. It again, space to shoot and space to finish. Henning man, oh, that is a finish right on the buzzer, and you can see what it means to him. From Magdeburg man, Slovenia get the first goal of the second half to extend their lead to ten. Goal scored in the match. As Angola 4 1 back from Tessa. Angola looking to the referee. Passive play. They're not going to get the decision. Instead, they're going to concede another goal. Goal scorer in the match. Oh, that's a big miss from Vanessa. Here's a chance for Angola. They take it. Maguc. He's starting to tick as well. The team. As we get into the latter stages, five minutes to go. Simiento given away. The break is on. Here's Maguc. And he. And Slovenia coming strong at the end, Margoc. That's goal number eight. He's the match. Scorers. <laughs> For these remaining moments. Tichnik sets it up and uh, perhaps the final goal of the game. For Angola, they started this match pretty well. But in the end, the Europeans pulled away.